You're watching New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. We are following a breaking story. Upgraded charges just filed against a 40-year-old teacher accused of raping a 10-year-old girl who is one of his students. Anthony Criscuolo is a teacher at PS 386 in the Bronx. He's now charged with rape and predatory sexual assault. We're also following a developing story out of Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Christina Torrey, daughter of Joe Torrey, is being hailed a hero. She managed to catch a one-year-old boy who fell off a fire escape. The boy's parents are charged with reckless endangerment. And new this half hour, two families ripped apart by tragedy. Good evening again. I'm Shade better and -Wan. I'm David Navarro in for Diana Williams and their four-year-old daughter was killed by an unlicensed teen driver. And for the first time, the family of Ariel Russo came face to face with her alleged killer. This, as the 17-year-old defendant sat in court on the verge of breaking down. Eyewitness News reporter Stacey Sager was in the courtroom. She's live in Lower Manhattan. Stacey? Well, Sade, this case is heartbreaking on so many levels. A 17-year-old accused of doing a terrible thing. A 911 call that was delayed for more than four minutes. But most of all, a four-year-old girl who lost her life and her parents who must deal with all of it here in court. Today, I had to face the person who killed my four-year-old daughter. Unthinkable words for any mother to have to say, and for the young man behind little Ariel Russo's death. Well, his moments in court today were also painful to watch. The courtroom filled with grief, and 17-year-old Franklin Reyes cringing as the judge talked about the second-degree murder charge against him. Cringing because he knows he was driving this SUV without a license here on the Upper West Side back on June 4th, racing away from police while poor Ariel and her grandmother were innocently in the wrong place at the wrong time. But then, adding to the tragedy... Somebody made a mistake. You know, somebody made a mistake that was handling that call. There was a 911 call delay of more than four minutes. The fire commissioner maintaining an EMS dispatcher failed to notice her screen. Ariel's family now suing the city, but today also demanding that the district attorney investigate. Because if it's true that the dispatcher didn't do her job, and if it's true that the result was the loss of my daughter's life, then certainly that would be, in my opinion, a criminal act. The rank and file on the other side is saying there's a problem with the system. The residents, the citizens of the city of New York deserve to know. A lot of things went wrong on that day. As Ariel's mother, I need clarity and I demand justice. I will fight so that no other family has to go through what my family is going through. And Ariel's parents plan to be at a city council hearing this Friday, a hearing that's raising questions about the city's 911 system. They want to know if this case involved a problem with just one dispatcher or if it was something more than that. And they feel New Yorkers deserve to know. Meanwhile, as for Franklin Reyes, his bail hearing is set for June 27th. And until then, he's being held without bail. We're live in Lower Manhattan outside criminal court. I'm Stacey Sager, Channel 7. Eyewitness News. Stacey, thank you. Well, it is a case that's rocking the NFL. Police have questioned New England Patriots star Aaron Hernandez in connection to a murder. The victim's body was found near Hernandez's home. Laura Benke is here now with more. Laura? Well, Shade, Aaron Hernandez has only been in the NFL since 2010. Already, though, he's become one of the Patriots' brightest offensive stars. But now the tight end is involved in a murder investigation, one that still involves far more questions than answers. He's part of one of the top tight end duos in football, playing for one of the top teams in the NFL. But now Aaron Hernandez is gaining headlines for all the wrong reasons. Overnight, police searched his multi-million dollar mansion outside Boston, and ABC News has learned the 23-year-old was also questioned by investigators. All in connection with the apparent murder of a man sources say was Hernandez's, quote, associate. I think he's a great player. I think the kids look up to him. I hope he's not involved in this in any way. It all began Monday when the body of 27-year-old Odin Lloyd was found in an industrial park about a mile from Hernandez's home in the upscale town of North Attleboro, Massachusetts. He was not buried. He was just lying there as if he was either dropped there or killed there. A rental car with Rhode Island plates was found near the crime scene. ABC has learned that car was registered to Hernandez. Investigators plan to execute a warrant to search the vehicle.
After initially being uncooperative, Hernandez is now talking to authorities, and while not currently a suspect, according to reports, he hasn't been ruled out. The former Florida Gator was drafted by the Patriots in 2010. Last summer, he was given a five-year contract extension worth $40 million. Through a team spokesman, the Patriots say they are aware of the reports, but will not comment publicly during a police investigation. Now, according to the Boston Globe, police are now investigating whether this death was linked to drugs. And there's another twist today with new reports that a Florida man filed a lawsuit against Hernandez, alleging the tight end shot him in the face during an altercation in Miami back in February. David. All right, Laura, thanks a lot. A very candid New Jersey Governor Chris Christie booed by his youngest constituents. But it wasn't politics that had them all riled up. My favorite baseball team is the New York Mets. <laughs> See, now, now well, I'm saying they don't have a professional baseball team in New Jersey. The governor on a visit to an elementary school in Parlin said Mets fans what, don't deserve booze. The Mets stink. We're awful. And the Yankees are usually really good. So why do you boo us? You should feel badly for us. We root for this awful team that never wins, and yet the Yankee fans boo us. I don't understand. Well, uh, now, you know, I like his rationale. Christie also said his advisors didn't want him to reveal that his favorite football team, wait for it, the Dallas service. Cowboys. That got me more upset. But his message in all of this, be true to yourself. Well, I don't know how to let the Mets like that characterization, but okay. Well, Governor Andrew Cuomo is betting that bringing Las Vegas-style casinos to New York will mean big bucks. The governor unveiled a deal this afternoon for four new casinos upstate. He said he believes they will increase tourism and create jobs. Also, part of the deal, two new video slot machine centers on Long Island, each with 1,000 machines. Voters will decide this fall whether to allow up to seven casinos statewide. And there's a new list that no place really wants to be on. It's this year's list of the 11 most endangered historic places. They include the Pan Am World Port Terminal at JFK Airport. The building's design made it stand out back in the 1960s. The terminal is no longer in use and is set to be demolished in 2015. Also on the list is the Houston Astrodome. And erosion threatens the Gay Head Lighthouse. It was the first one built on Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. The list is put together by the National Trust for historic preservation. Looking for something to do? Well, you can enjoy a meal out tonight while helping people hit hard by Superstorm Sandy. This is National Dine Out Day in New Jersey. Restaurants are donating up to half of their proceeds from today to the Hurricane Sandy New Jersey Relief Fund. New Jersey's First Lady, Mary Pat Christie, chairs the program featured in this video on the website. To find a participating restaurant, we have a link to the National Dine Out Day website at 7 online. Hungry now? I'm very hungry. So many people are in serious need, so do what you can to help out. Still to come on Eyewitness News, new information for parents who are on the fence about the HPV vaccine. Just how much of a difference is it making in the lives of young girls? And a daycare worker busted what she's accused of doing to get her kids to go to sleep. Plus, pedestrian danger, exploding sidewalks. We'll tell you where it's happening. Closed captioning sponsored by Optimum. We're your TV, phone, and internet company. The new Honda Accord versus its four top competitors and 1,200 car and driver readers. I like the car. Oh, wow. Wow. This baby handles. I like the steering. It's really crisp. It's pretty rock solid, even more than the Camry. It does what I think it's going to do. All I got to say is, wow. Their conclusion? The Accord is a winner. Form your own opinion. Test drive an Accord today at your local Honda dealer. If you or loved one is fighting complex or advanced stage cancer, you need excellence in medicine and technology. You need a personalized treatment plan and you need hope. I needed to hear that there was hope so I can continue my fight to survive. You feel that security in knowing that they aren't going to give up on you. That's what you'll find at Cancer Treatment Centers of America and Philadelphia. Care that never quits. This is how you're supposed to be treated. Call or visit CancerCenter.com. Appointments available now. Good night. Thanks, Olivia. Thank you. So you can make a payment from your cell to almost anyone's phone or email. Bonjour, Mama et Papa. Ça va? So you can express your gratitude in the moment. Chase Quick Pay. So you can.
Shop the final hours of Sleepy's two-day mattress sale today. It's your last chance to save on select Sealy, Serta, and Beautyrest mattresses. Get a Sealy Queen plush set for just $2.99. That's 70% off. Plus, get a Beautyrest Queen firm set for just $4.99. And best of all, any Cool Sense set is 50% off, plus free delivery during the final hours of Sleepy's two-day mattress sale. Only at Sleepy's, the mattress professionals. I thought you had experience and performance. A new ride comes along and changes everything. The 2013 Lexus GS. With the dynamically tuned suspension and adjustable drive modes. Because the ultimate expression of power is control. Lease the all-wheel drive 2013 GS350 for $4.79 a month for 27 months. See your Lexus dealer. Rising above every obstacle, a group of unstoppable women are pushing every limit. Next, Katie. Tomorrow at 3 on ABC7. This week on Jeopardy, join the Clue Crew as they travel the globe to destinations both near and far. Tonight at 7, right here on ABC7. Almost 9 million bucks. Live Lotto tonight on 7 Online. Take a look at this. A growing problem in London. Exploding sidewalks. There it goes. This is newly released surveillance video from three years ago. There's a blast, and just seconds after the man walks by, he wasn't hurt, but officials say at least five people have been injured in sidewalk explosions since January of 2012. The blast may be caused by water or gas entering cable boxes and cables that run under sidewalks. And tonight we're hearing testimony from Michael Jackson's children in the wrongful death trial against concert promoter AEG. Videotaped depositions of Prince and Paris Jackson were played for jurors today. Both children repeatedly refuted the claims of the, of the chef about their father's declining health. Paris also contradicted the chef's claim that Jackson's nanny was like a mother to their children. My dad didn't like her, so he tried to like keep her away from us. Uh -huh. So he'd send her on, to run errands mm -hmm. a lot. Um, but then eventually she, she kept coming back? Yeah. Um, if he didn't like her, do you, do you have an understanding why he didn't get rid of her permanently? He felt bad. And do you know why he felt bad? Because she didn't really have a lot of money. Was every time that he came home? Mm -hmm. Prince Jackson refuted the chef's claim that he once had to help his father up the stairs because he was too weak to walk on his own. A daycare owner faces child endangerment charges for allegedly drugging the children under her care. Police in Ohio say they have evidence of the woman slipping cold and allergy medication into pancake batter in order to make the children drowsy. The woman who operates the daycare out of her home says she gives the children medication only when it is requested by their parents. She faces up to 18 months in jail if convicted of six counts of child endangering. A new study shows a big drop in sexually transmitted diseases and some cancers since the introduction of the HPV vaccine. Researchers say a vaccine against the human papillomavirus has cut infections in teen girls by 56%. It is the first major evidence of effectiveness of the vaccine, which was introduced in only 2006. Government health officials recommend that girls get the vaccine by age 12 to protect them against cancers that can appear 20 to 40 years later. That's significant. Yeah. Well, listening to music or watching TV on the go is easier than ever, but how good is the sound quality? Consumer Reports puts portable speakers to the test. And a live look outside. How long will this picture look like this? And will it last? Meteorologist Lee Goldberg returns with your AccuWeather forecast. So many classes out there for your children, but how do you choose the one that's right for your child in terms of activity and price? Well, one New York mom is making the process easier. I'm Lauren Glassford with the story coming up. Next at 6, the supervisor who caught JFK security guards sleeping on the job says he's the one who got punished. And he's telling only Eyewitness News how he plans to fight back. Plus, the investigators find what could be the real reason for so many Long Island Railroad breakdowns. Next at 6. With diabetes, it's tough to keep life balanced. I don't always have time to eat like I should. That's why I like Lucerna shakes. They have slowly digestible carbs to help minimize blood sugar spikes. Lucerna, helping people with diabetes find balance. Uh, 
two years. We hear you. Boost doesn't have contracts. We keep you by lowering your payments. The longer you're with us, the less you pay. Boost Mobile. Be heard. It's in our blood, our DNA. It's who we are, we're here to stay. Cause we're stronger than the storm. The Jersey Shore is open. The word is spreading. Because we're stronger than the storm. You bet we are. The Chevy Cruze offers an EPA-estimated 36 MPG highway. That's crazy. Crazy efficient. 10 standard airbags. And you get Stabilitrack with traction control. That is like crazy protection. Mm -hmm. This interior is... Insane. It is insane. Mm -hmm. I was going to say crazy again. Visit your local Chevy dealer today. Qualified lessees with a current non-GM lease can get a 2013 Chevy Cruze LS for around $149 per month. Fruit-flavored drinks say all sorts of things to sound healthy, but they can have more sugars than soda. Drinking so much sugar eventually can take a toll. Obesity and diabetes and its serious complications could be in your kid's future. Fruit-flavored drinks are not a healthy choice. Replace them with water, seltzer, fat-free milk, and fresh fruit. When Victoria Marin found out her son was being bullied, she took action. Because of the trauma from being bullied, his eye contact was very poor. He really avoided conversation, stayed in his bedroom quite a bit, and I decided to enroll him in ballroom dance lessons. And now he's out in the community and he's helping to raise awareness for autism and the power of dance. See how this dedicated mother helped her son come out of his shell on the Above and Beyond special. Sponsored by Tri-State Ford Dealers and TD Bank. These contestants will put the full court press on a slew of prizes because it's NBA Week on Wii. Tonight at 7.30. Right here on ABC7. Well, what are we doing inside, Lee? <laughs> yeah, I know. We need to be outside. You know, I've been thinking about going outside, and it's like you got to do something outside this weekend. Yeah, you really you know? do. I mean, like you were saying, you know, I saw a lot of people was up in Harlem Me earlier in the morning, mm -hmm. and people were laying in the sun. And this time of year, the sun's very strong. We're getting toward the solstice here on Friday. Yeah. So the air mass is so comfortable that it's okay. It's comfortable to sit out in the sunshine. Just make sure you're using that SPF 30 or higher. Outside we go, where we have what is a beautiful afternoon. It's 75 degrees on the west side. The wind is calm. It is going to be a beautiful evening evening. Time for your questions and comments. Traveling this week, says Anthony, any more weather issues to be worried about? The answer is no locally. Maybe a couple of small delays down in the southeast U.S., uh, maybe through Chicago on Friday, some light showers, but for the most part, in really good shape. And then Patty actually sent a Facebook message all the way from Colorado. She was in the evacuation zone. They let us back in after all the fires. Wants the rain that we've had to come their way. Unfortunately, it looks very dry out in the Rockies. You see the weather map is pretty quiet here. We have our front that's offshore here. One thing you'd like to see is maybe some of that tropical moisture from Barry, which is going into Mexico as a tropical storm early tomorrow morning. But that's going to remain over Mexico. That's not coming in the lower 48. We watched this cold front go offshore. That's where it stays now, and it has dried us out. And not just for one day like we've seen so many times recently. This is going to stay around for a while. High pressure builds in for several days and right into the upcoming weekend. Now, one thing tonight, after a very comfortable evening in the upper 60s and low 70s, there's a little chill in the air tomorrow morning. Maybe a light jacket, especially north and west where you're in the upper 40s and mid 50s, about 63 in the park, 61 Montauk down the shore, lower 60s. Doing a regional forecast, lower 70s to mid 70s across the island, even upper 70s in Hempstead, a light wind out of the south southwest and very low humidity. Mostly sunny and pleasant over New Jersey. Your warmest temperatures where we could reach 80 in Paramus and same thing in Somerville. Again, a little cooler start here in the Hudson Valley and into the Catskills where we start out in the 50s but rebound nicely into the mid and upper 70s, a southwest wind and again, the humidity in check. Second half of the doubleheader, Dodgers and Yankees. Beautiful weather for baseball, 72 degrees. It's sweep weather. Weather wellness, air quality is good. The UV index, a very high nine, and the pollen count is on the low to moderate side after the recent rains. Can't get much nicer. So 79 for the final day of spring. Sunshine, 79. Low tomorrow night will be in the lower 60s. I'm actually going to change that temperature and raise it to near 60. 66 on Friday night. Now, 81 on Friday. The first day of summer looks beautiful. Again, sunshine, a few clouds, low humidity. 
humidity. More high clouds start to roll in over the weekend, but we're really on a roll here. 84 on Saturday, and then on Sunday, maybe a thunderstorm later in the day as the humidity starts to creep up, and we're just sort of in a classic summery pattern early next week. Even though we have lightning strikes on each day there, that's just afternoon thunder threat, even near 90 on Monday, and no washouts, which is great. Because we are now the uh, third wettest June on record here with plenty of time to go, so let's just stay in the third spot, right. okay? Yeah, let's hope so. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Lee. You bet. You know, as a uh, parent, it can be overwhelming to try to figure out the kind of classes or activities to get your children involved in. And there are just so many different choices, but now there's a place where you can go for one-stop shopping to get classes where and when you want them. Lauren Glassberg is here to explain. Well, when you think about what you can do online, you can order groceries, mm -hmm. food delivery, clothes, you can buy a vacation online, so why not be able to sign your kids up for classes online as well? Well, that is exactly the idea behind Kids Central Station. Clap, clap, clap our hands. At the Wee Ones, little boys and girls start learning about music and movement. Cara Teresi has offered classes here for nine years, and lately she's seeing families who've come to her via a new website started by Lauren Pohl. Lauren was on maternity leave when she realized just how difficult it was to find the right class at the right time for her child. I said, why is it that there's no centralized website where a parent can search quickly by the criteria that matter, price, age, location, schedule, see what's available, read reviews, and enroll. So she created Kids Central Station, a website that's smartphone friendly. You simply go online, choose a class based on your child's age, activity level, time, location, and price. You can find some free classes, you can find drop-ins for as low as $15, and you can also find semester classes that are 17 weeks and are more than $500. It's been a boon, especially for small business owners. It helps me to focus on what we love doing, which is focusing on our children and keeping our families happy instead of the back end of pulling people in all the time. And parents like the convenience of Kids Central Station. If it's rainy and you just want to see like what's going on based on that day, it's great to keep filter to look at that and it's also good for his age group so I can see just what classes like he'll fit in. Being a new mother that's another thing you know you really need to be educated so there were a number of classes I didn't know about and this really helped. We get amazing feedback both from providers who say thank you for connecting us to parents and also from parents who said we had no idea these classes were out there. So really a great resource. Signing up for Kids Central Station is free. It takes about a minute, and it's just as easy to enroll in classes. Everything wow. right there. I'm just surprised nothing has been out there like this before. Yeah, so now you don't have to search through magazines right. or word of mouth. The word of mouth. That's there. how you did it. You exactly. go to your friends, yeah. your relatives. Yeah, I got to do something. And you, you know, can what still do that, but <laughs> yeah. there's also hey, Dave, reviews what on this. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he's a swimmer. I'm not sure. Go see Joe down the street. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> okay, Lauren, Thanks thank you. Sure. Well, they're more popular than ever. Wireless mobile speakers for your tablet or smartphone. Uh, next on Eyewitness News, find out which speakers give you the best sound quality. Consumer Reports puts them to the test. And I, Bill Ritter, knew at 6 o'clock. Come on, buddy, wake up. A man videotaped several security men sleeping instead of guarding Kennedy Airport. Now he says he was fired for turning them in. Tonight, he talks exclusively to the Eyewitness News investigators. And startling new claims of the crash of TWA Flight 800 over Long Island. Did a missile bring this plane down? And what's up with all the problems on the Long Island Railroad? Tonight, we dig deeper. So who's responsible? It's all next at 6.